Let's talk about dehydration and common lab values used to diagnose it. Dehydration directly relates to an individual's total body water volume status. Dehydration occurs when total body water is greatly reduced below the normal level and results in disproportionate concentrations of sodium and potassium in the plasma. As an example, if you're exercising and sweating heavy amounts, your body's water level will drop and as a result, your sodium level is going to drop considerably as well, and if not replenished along the way, can lead you down the path to dehydration. Assessment is key when it comes to dehydration, and symptoms vary depending on the severity of imbalanced fluid status. Now let's look at some common signs and symptoms. Orthostatic lightheadedness, less blood volume, less volume to get upstairs, resulting in dizziness or lightheadedness. Tachycardia, cardiac compensation, an increase in heart rate to move existing volume through circulation faster, usually rapid and weak upon palpation. Dry mucous membranes, dry coated tongue and oral tissues, sunken eyes, loss of elasticity to the skin, poor skin turgor, reduced snapback quality to the skin, tense and slowly rests after pinching and releasing the tissue. Increased thirst, decreased urine output, weight loss, decreased blood pressure, confusion, dizziness, fatigue, muscle cramps, seizures. How sodium plays a role. Dehydration may occur when fluids containing sodium are lost in the urine from the GI tract, vomiting, or the skin, sweat, and sensible water loss. Examples of gastrointestinal losses include vomiting, diarrhea, bleeding, and renal losses, including the effects of diuretics, osmotic diuresis, salt-wasting nephropathies, and hypoaldosteronism. Skin losses include sweat, burns, and other dermatological conditions. Third space sequestration, including intestinal obstruction, crush injury, fracture, and acute pancreatitis. Diagnosis requires multiple parameters or labs. Here are some of the labs that are looked at. Serum and plasma osmolality tests, CBC, HGB and hematocrit levels, ADH, antidiuretic hormone plays an essential role in water reabsorption and therefore sodium and potassium balance. Basic metabolic panel, include sodium, potassium, and chloride, which are all electrolytes that exchange to the function of the sodium-potassium pump. Buin and creatinine, which are indicative of kidney function and therefore speak to fluid and electrolyte balance. If the kidney isn't functioning properly, buin and creatinine will be increased as they are not filtered through the kidneys and remain in the blood. Some general points to keep in mind. Dehydration can be difficult to diagnose, but should not be taken lightly. It is a frequent cause of hospital admissions and can cause illness or death on its own and can further complicate many existing medical conditions. Dehydration may also be overdiagnosed. This can lead to the misdiagnosis of the real cause of the patient's illness and lead to overtreatment with fluids. All in all though, dehydration is generally easily treatable and preventable. Always be sure to consider all factors when treating dehydration. To get a copy of our book, 63 Must Know Labs, head over to nursing.com slash labs. We'll send you a free copy when you pay for shipping. That's nursing.com slash labs. We hope this video helps you in your nursing journey. Now go out there and be your best self today. And as always, happy nursing.